Hey everyone. So we're going to talk about the work for fifth and sixth period today. Um, just a reminder, if you do need help with your backpack or anything like that, make sure you ask me or one of your teachers soon and that there's going to always be class available at one of these um, links at our set class time. Any of that information you can always click on here to find for um, my email, what time office hours are, right, two to three every day, um, how to schedule a meeting, how to join a live class, what time classes are, all that information is on there, right? So you can find any of that stuff um, as you need it, as well as the work for this week. So you can see for this week, you have a bell ringer question, you have a news ELA article, and you have um, stories of modern slavery, you have some questions to go with that. So if you scroll down to modern slavery, you'll be able to watch the week four videos, which I'm gonna upload um, and they'll be on there right away. And then you have your bell ringer. What is something that you appreciate about your family? Right, so you've been spending a lot of time probably with people in your house, right? So tell me one thing that you like about them, right? And then it, the second, so one thing I like about my family is, and then what is something they do that annoys you? So um, something that gets on your nerves or bugs you. Uh, so you could say one thing I don't like about my family is, because we all have things we like and things that we don't like. So you're gonna answer those two questions for your bell ringer this week. And then um, you have a few stories of modern slavery to read. So when you open up that Google Doc, there's gonna be um, all the questions at the beginning and then the readings at the end. So your directions say to read the stories at the bottom. So there's going to be a few at the very bottom part, and then you're going to pick two of them. And then you're going to answer questions for two of those stories and summarize them. So you can see there's room for story one and two. Okay. And then each of these stories, um, you're going to read them and you're going to summarize them. Uh, answer what type of modern slavery it is, domestic servitude, forced labor, forced marriage, bonded labor, or child labor. So for number one, you're going to choose uh, domestic servitude, forced labor, forced marriage, bonded labor, or child labor. And you could bold the right answer or underline it or change the color, or you can just type it right next to here. 
Now, if you don't know what those mean, you probably didn't do the work for last week. So you're gonna go back to those Google Slides, right? And um, these are gonna be your notes to help you with our uh, final project that we're gonna be, that's gonna be coming up soon. So you will wanna go back to all the videos and um, websites that you're supposed to read and take notes on each one. Actually make sure you're also answering those questions so that you know what it is for later. And that will help you figure out which of the following types it is, right? So you're gonna pick one of the five. Then for each story, you're gonna answer those questions. Who was it? So hopefully just looking at the beginning of the story is gonna help you for that. There's names on each one, right? So tell us about them, how old were they, right? And then B, where are they from? So you can find that right in the titles, um, but for where did they go, you're gonna have to look in the story itself, right? So what country are they from and what country did they go to? What happened to them? And then you're gonna take all that information uh, from A, B, and C to summarize the story in one sentence. So who from where went to where, and then what happened? So you only have to pick two stories out of these seven stories, right? And do your best to summarize each one, right? And answer those questions. When you're done with that, you're going to go to News ELA and you're gonna read the article on ending human trafficking. So you're gonna click on the website. It's gonna ask you to sign in with Google and then you should be able to see your assignments for this week, right? So um, your article is gonna be called something like ending human traffic as a priority and I can see how many minutes you spent reading it and the work that you did on it. Um, depending on which level you pick, then the title could be a little bit different. So um, you can start off at a low level just to help you out. So, uh, you should see a picture that looks like this. It might be called, what is human trafficking? It might be called, ending human trafficking is a priority. Right? And um, then you're gonna do the activities over here. So there's a quiz with a few questions to answer. Then there is a writing prompt, right? When you're done reading and taking the quiz. Um, so it says, what does this article make you wonder about? and ask a question that would encourage further investigation of this topic or process. Why is this question interesting or important? So remember, we've been talking about modern slavery for a long, for a long time. This is a sensitive uh, topic and it can be a little bit upsetting. So please, please come and talk to me or a counselor or a parent if you're having trouble. But um, the only thing we're looking for for your writing prompt is what is one thing that you're thinking about when you're talking about this topic. So what other questions do you have? So if you've read through the article and you're like, hmm, what else could we learn about? Or what else do you wonder about? Or what questions do you have? That's all you have to write for this week's writing prompt, right? So um, those are the two things you need to do, the quiz and the writing, right? And again, you can change the level. I think for some of them, you can also change to Spanish as well if you're stuck but you can pick um, a level that's comfortable for you. Right? The lower the number, the easier it is. So those are our assignments for this week, right? These three, and then this video explaining it is gonna be right here. Um, again, if you wanna see uh, what your assignments are, you can always look on here and you can always uh, use this to figure out how to email me, to see me during my office hours, to schedule a meeting right by phone or email uh, or video chat, whatever works best for you. Let me know if you need help with anything at all, um, whether it's classwork or the backpack or something else. Right. Otherwise, hopefully I'll see you guys in class. Bye. Have a nice day.